Do you understand, artist, young, pheromone, lawyer, and all concerned? I make this testimony to establish the basis of my complaint against Facebook and to signify my joining the collective Facebook as a collective action lawsuit to compel legal recognition of Facebook as a public domain that should be under ownership and control of its users. Facebook must be collectivized. I have had an account with Facebook under the name of Joma Season since 2009 or thereabouts. Last February 3, 2022, Facebook gave me notice that my account was being blocked temporarily for three days because it looked like that I posted in my timeline content against Facebook community standards. The specific content pictured and referred to in the notice was an announcement of the Zoom launching of my book on the Communist Party of the Philippines on February 6, 2022. This book was earlier published by American publishers who enjoyed the freedom of enterprise. On February 10, 2022, I got the notice from Facebook that my account had been disabled and that the decision cannot be reversed. Facebook has abruptly made drastic decisions against me without hearing my side before imposing a penalty on me, disrupting my communications with my colleagues, friends, and especially my political constituencies through Facebook and Messenger. Interfering with the announcement of my book launch, adversely affecting the distribution of my book, causing serious damages to my moral and material interest and the collective interest of the national democratic movement of the people in the Philippines. Facebook has arbitrarily prevented me from and deprived me of access to my property in the Facebook account, including my writings, documents, songs, poems, videos, photos, communications with colleagues, friends, and my political constituency. I have been robbed by Facebook of what belongs to me and to my political community. I do not remember having ever surrendered ownership of the over aforesaid property in whole or in part. As an individual as, and as a recognized leader of the National Democratic Movement, in my formal name of Jose Maria Season and nickname Joma Season, my democratic right and freedom of expression have been grossly violated by Facebook, and I have suffered moral and material damage, and I and therefore demand compensation. Worst of all, Facebook has unlawfully acted against me in favor of its direct relationships with the Duterte regime in the Philippines has grave and systematic violations of human rights and scandalous corruption I have exposed and opposed in Facebook. In fact and effect, Facebook has a disproportionate impact on Philippine politics in favor of an oppressive and exploitative regime. It is well known in the Philippines, inside and outside the Facebook community, that the National Task Force, LCAC, and the Marcos and Duterte regime's troll armies and fake news managers thereof have caused the initial blocking up to the disabling of my Facebook account. Facebook is now being widely criticized as an awesome instrument not only for super profit making but also for imperialist and fascist ideological and political regimentation. The people are therefore demanding that Facebook be under the collective control of its public users and builders. In addition to my demand for the return of my property as above mentioned and compensation for the moral and material damages inflicted by Facebook on me, I join the public clamor and demand for a future Facebook to be in the collective control of the people through a non-profit foundation whose board of directors is elected, not on the basis of stock ownership, but on the basis of public interest in social media by the users of Facebook, who have been in fact its main and essential builders, but whose collective efforts and results thereof have been misappropriated for private 
profit making, an ideological and political monopoly and censor culture by a clique of billionaires.